Okay, welcome back. Thank you for being here. So now we're going to move on to the next sign. We're going to let Spirit decide who it's going to be. The song was Rachel Bradshaw, <clears throat> If I Needed You. If I Needed You. All right, Spirit, who is this next song? I mean, Spirit reading going to be for? Gemini. Hey, Gemini. How you doing, baby? Glad to see you're back. Alright, so Gemini is the next one. We're going to do a 2023 mini reading to see how 2023 might go for you. What prayer would you give Gemini for 2023? <coughs> Dear God, thank you for giving me my family to love and care for. Help me to share with them your spirit's warmth and love as you bless them with grace and peace. May we as one family live with you forever in heaven. Amen. So you're thankful for your family, Gemini. Okay, what virtues are you working on in the sign of Gemini? Gemini, you got self-control. And gratitude with kindness beautiful this is like almost like a sagittarius vibe actually all right so let's see how do we want to do this let's find out what's going on with the energy oracle for you energy oracle for the oh hostilities and broken heart gemini this is reminding me of leo's reading What's going on with you and Leo? Storm warning and broken heart. Somebody broken because of a storm. A woman holding a coin and a broken heart. Wow. I'm sorry, Gemini. Alright, Cheryl, so what do you want to say to Gemini? Gemini, you got the happy, happy, the happy, happy card. Oh, you're having trouble speaking up about what would make you happy. All right, you got happy, happy, which is number four. That's the happiest card in the deck, I believe. Happy, happy. Closeness, fun, and caring. The rainbow over this happy family portends a time of joy and celebration. Close connections are available, so don't overlook the fun and frivolity that a friend or family experience can bring. The value that you find in a truly loving relative or friend to bring a higher vibration to your life force. You may be distracted or busy, but remember to put these parts of your life in the forefront of your priorities. If you're single, finding this card in your spread could indicate potentially meeting and perhaps a relationship with someone who has children from a previous marriage. This ready-made family might bring some challenges, but it could be your destiny this lifetime. This card may also simply signify a celebration coming up, such as a wedding, an anniversary, a birthday party, or one of those things. So enjoy if that's the case. Um, for some reason, though, you're not able to speak up, and you have the fit, um, Archangel Gabriel helping you speak up, number 39. So let's see what that means in reverse. This card reverse often indicates significant blocks in the throat center. Something in your history may have caused you to shut down, but it's important now to break through that unhealthy pattern. Or you may currently be in a situation where the free sharing of your ideas, opinions, or feelings is being thwarted. In addition to the 
fear of self-expression. This card reverse could indicate physical throat problems. As all the chakra cards reversed may signal difficulties in that area of the body. The physical trouble may be connected to blocked energy in the chakra. So it's all more important to work through clearing the energy in the in the center involved. The other the clear to clear the throat chakra involved I'm sorry. To clear the throat chakra, call upon Gabriel and meditate on his power blasting through any blocks. See your throat center spinning in a beautiful blue light. Muster up the courage to speak the truth to yourself and to those around you. It's time to let go of any old fear and confront and co any old fear of confrontation and stand up for yourself from now on. I think it's time for you to stand up for yourself because you have a very happy, you have potentially a very happy future this year. But you have to learn to speak up. All right, what would you and I say if they were to speak up? What would they say if they were to speak up? It's late. Really late. Why aren't you here next to me? What else would Jim and I say? I smile when I'm reading. And I can't stand you. You drive me crazy. What the fuck did I get myself into? So there's things that you need to speak up about, Jim and I. <clears throat> What's the hidden truth Jim and I would say if they could speak up? Dang. Dang, Jim and I. You would say, I want you back. I'm not over you, but I have too much to lose. Anything else you would say? I don't know why this happened, and you let me down. So somebody let you down. All right, black deck for Gemini. All right, show me what tarot energy you're working on in Gemini's life spirit. What what um major tarot are you working on? The world. Something's ending. There's something ending in your life. A major significant cycle. And here you are, the lover, showing up on the bottom of the deck. <coughs> so, show us why this is over. Why is this over? Because we see it's a relationship. Because of somebody escaping through drugs, alcohol, work sex, whatever, and enough is enough with the differences. You're tired of escaping, and they're, it, you're like, it's enough of enough. We're, we have too many differences. Enough is enough. All right. What's being hidden? That somebody's telepathic. They can be arrogant, and this is about divine timing. Why are they arrogant? For one thing, somebody's manifesting you and there's a tower in the wrong deck. Oh, there's cards in the wrong deck. You're going to get one last chance, that's why. You're arrogant because you're getting one last chance. Or giving one last chance. Somebody is manifesting you. There's going to be a tower. It has to do with juggling and the end of this. Clarify the tower, please. Somebody's clueless. They're wanting to focus on their self because somebody's a player. Somebody doesn't know that this is ending. Because of them being a player. They, they want to focus on themselves because of somebody being a player. And they're tired of this person living a double life. Hmm. 
what are the differences they have? Something was unintentional and there's a secret love. And they've been stalking someone also. How does Gemini feel about the person that they're breaking it off with? They had an infatuation. Alright, what's being kept secret? What's the secret? There's distance. Or there's not going to be distance. It came out in reverse. What's being shown? That there's confusion and somebody is hoping that there's not a resentment. Alright, and what's going to happen next? There's going to be chemistry. What do you mean chemistry? Clarify chemistry. Somebody's about to have an epiphany that they want to chase this fantasy because somebody has been showing them unconditional love. And how does that person feel about them? Death came out of the wrong deck. Transformation came out of the wrong deck. They feel like you've been avoiding intimacy with them, that you've rejected them, that you've let them go, and that you're not going to change your mind. That's how they feel. And they're trying not to be in despair about this. Wow, Gemini, what the hell? Uh, talk to me about, about how this happened. There was a lot of toxicity patterns and somebody was bound. They were wearing a facade about their beliefs and they wouldn't talk to somebody about this. Throat chakra. What's being hidden? That divine feminine is here from last spring. What about last spring? You regret that you did not use your intuition last spring. And what's being shown, that somebody wants to make an offer, but they're controlling their self. Why are they controlling their self? Because they don't feel like they're good enough for this union. What's the truth? That your ancestors and guides are saying that this is wish fulfillment. You've been through some dark shit. But you're stable now. And what's going to happen next? You're going to have a lot of memories. Somebody was being either deceptive or tempted in the fall. And their ancestors were guiding them. What was the outcome of that? Or what will be the outcome of that? You're going into your north node. Your vanity and pride are... You are attracted. You're going to take action. In divine timing, you're going to take action and start something new. Because you're, going to, you're fixing to go into your life purpose. And you're proud of this. That's beautiful. There's going to be an unexpected storm. Clarify the storm. It has to do with fears and limitations and chemistry. Why are you afraid of the chemistry? Because you don't feel like you're worth it. It triggers you and it causes heart disharmony and conflict. You're not taking care of yourself. There's unforgiveness, you're in separation, and you can't celebrate abundance and gifts because of this. And it's Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine, where are you at in all of this? You're surrendering where you were unawakened. And you are very... Somebody, somebody is um, creative and they are, um, what's the word? They're inspiring you. Alright, where is your...
your person, your divine feminine or masculine. They're recognizing that they want to have union with you. What's going to be, what's going to happen in the next two weeks? Numbing, fear, and the answer is going to be no. Alright, what's it going to take to change this? Right now, you got to come unstuck. You've been stuck, and you're thinking about ways you can get unstuck and ask for forgiveness and a fresh start. What might be the answer? Your tribe is here. What about their tribe? Your tribe says you do have self-worth and that you're going to be guided past this barrier. Towards what? Being released. Reinventing yourself. Divine Feminine is here. And they've been seeing signs of this since last summer. They knew last summer you were supposed to be with this Divine Feminine. You just didn't have the courage to speak up. And you didn't think you were good enough. That's not true, Gemini. That's not true. Alright, why is the world here? Because you're going to defend yourself when it comes to somebody. Somebody is, is either cheating on you, lying to you, deceiving you. Or spying on you. And you're going to defend yourself against that. Why is the lovers here? Because there's children here. That feel like in the past. Choices you made caused you to be untrustworthy. And somebody's coming in with something to say. What are they saying? They're saying that you being an emperor is forbidden and that you can't move past this. What's the truth? That you're the king of swords. We know that. There's a queen of pentacles that got hurt by a king of swords. When it, In divine timing they got hurt. What's going on with them now? The King of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, the Fool, the Ace of Swords, and the Page of Wands. Somebody has an Earth placement or this is somebody else. There's a King of Pentacles that's having sex. Moving into a new direction, starting something new. The truth is coming out, and it's coming out excitedly. What is the truth? May I see what the truth is? The truth is, is that they want to be married. Sagittarius is here, or they want to be in a relationship. And that there is a Queen of Cups who taught them a lot of lessons when it came to relationships. Alright. Talk to me about this. What's going on with Gemini? Gemini, you're very passionate about somebody. Clarify that further. You've been in denial about being vulnerable and stable. About opening up to this person, your throat chakra. Alright, what's going on with Gemini's divine feminine or masculine? They, they, they backed off because you all were on different pages. What's going to happen next? There's an addiction and trust. Clarify what you mean. You regret that there was an addiction and you want to have trust. What's going to be the outcome? There's, there's a past life love. What about it? Finances were a factor and there's an apology. What's going to be the outcome of this situation? 
You're going to take care of yourself. You've learned a spiritual lesson. You've accepted that there was an obsession. And what, what do you mean you've accepted the obsession? There's a new love, marriage, and support. Gemini, you're going to have a new love. Why is marriage and support here? Are you going to marry this person? You're going to make a decision. Clarify the decision. It's a true love and it's a friendship. You want to marry a friend of yours who's a true love. It might not be a traditional marriage. It could be just like moving in together or something like that. And you're also going to have abundance. This is, it looks like it's your twin flame, but I can't be sure. It hasn't come out yet. Show me what's going on with Gemini's finances. Gemini, beauty is here. Somebody left a legacy. This person is beautiful and they have animals. They also are recognized. They get recognition. And there's something that they need to be quiet about. All right, anything else we need to know? Whoa, that flew out. There's something here about home. There's something undecided about home. There's something that's temporary and it has to do with promoting. All right, what's going to be the outcome of that? Somebody's going to take off. They're going to be a motivator. They're going to be in leadership, and they're going to be self-made. Anything else we need to know? You're the magician, and you're going to juggle. There's some spell work being done. Outcome of the spell work. Somebody's going to get on the right path. Ah, mistakes on the bottom of the deck. Why is mistakes on the bottom of the deck? Because you needed growth. Your money had come to a halt. And you have your soul tribe. So how's the money doing now? You were paid. You were a help. You had a helper. You were patient. There was charity. There was social media. You sold something and took a risk. And what was the outcome of the risk? A business, somebody being unreliable, making peace, and doing unjob, odd jobs. Perfectly, I might add. Alright, so, let's see, what else do we want to do here? Uh, tell me how, secretly, how do you feel about this Divine Feminine? You feel like I like I can be myself with you and I need security. How does she feel about you? I wish we could go back. I compare others to you and I miss being with you. And I feel the sexual tension. Alrighty then. Alright, let's pull some of these. Let's see what Spirit has to say. Gemini, you have to open your throat chakra so you can speak to this person. Wild and free and daring dreamer. These are new ones. These aren't something we normally see, Gemini. Wild and free is number one. Wild and free. This is an important time in your life. When you are being guided to lead from your heart, even if it makes no sense to you or anyone else, or if the mind screams at you with fear and doubt, don't ignore what your heart is telling you. Give yourself the time and space that you need away from the noise and demands of the world and other people so that the... The quiet, sure voice of your heart can be heard. And then take courage and act on what you feel. Your heart is wise and worldly. and Your, your heart is wise and worthy of your trust. Daring dreamer number 20. Number 20, daring dreamer. Says this. 
You don't need to adjust your dreams to fit in with what others say is realistic, sensible, or practical. Why seek to limit the power of the universe with negative expectations? Be uncompromising with your, with your heart wisdom. Listen to what, what it wants and yearns for and believe that the universe has put those desires there and will show you every step of the way to fulfill them. Do not allow someone else to make you feel like you should change who you are or what your heart truly yearns for. Never, even for a tiny bit, not even for one single second. And I want to pull you some angel cards. Angels, how are you helping Gemini? A lot. You're helping Gemini with fire, passion, love, and purity. That's beautiful. With vibration. I also want to find out what kind of healing you might need, Gemini. What kind of healing does Gemini need? You have some sadness going on and self-sabotage. By not saying what you mean, baby, you got to say what you mean. You got to speak your heart. You got to open your throat chakra. All right, one more thing and then we're out of here, Gemini. What would this book say to you? Instant Magic Oracle, what would you say to Gemini? Something that Gemini might need to hear, please. Someone is looking at you and wishing they had what you have. Somebody's looking at you and wishing they had you, is what I think. <laughs> but what do I know? Okay, let's get some initials. J. O F A W U F five R N Q E V two R O two L K H F T F D A S Q E ten M G R P T P R M M four V one more time N L J C M B nine A Alright, trinkets for the sign of Gemini. Alright, I have I Will, the Eiffel Tower. A drink from a tropical island or from a bar. Happiness, health, and treasure. An angel. You're a card player, a teddy bear, a flower, a little cute shoe, high heel shoe, the word love, a flower, the angel watching over the children that are on the broken bridge, live your dream, a dolphin, a cross, a dove with an olive branch, a flower, and a star that says dream. They're almost the exact same ones that I got for Leo, except for the cute little shoes. Alright, I got a key, an Eiffel Tower, I love you to the moon and back, a horse, a dragonfly, a skeleton hand, a sailboat, cherries, another horse, a screw, an angel wing, a bullet, an infinity sign, an Eiffel Tower, a feather, an infinity sign, and a prick or cactus. Alright, Gemini, I hope this helped you in some way. If it did, please like the video, comment, 
whatever you want to do, share it, even if by word of mouth. That helps a reader more than anything when you share their content with others. All right, I love you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful New Year's and, and an even better night, uh, an even better 2023. Bye.